Hello friends, Coach Bob here today, and today we're gonna talk about something sensitive in nature. We're gonna be talking about your rear end. This thing right back here, because you don't want to anger the aft, bruise the booty, crack the cushion, damage the derriere. So we're gonna talk about a fine product, one that I actually happen to be sitting on right now, the butt buffer. I thought a butt buffer was something you'd shine your hiney with. It's actually something that you put on a motorcycle seat to keep it from damaging your hiney and to make your hiney feel a little better on them long rides. I got Coach Vic out here, so we're gonna do a little bit of talking. Cause there's a few things you need to know. You don't want to eviscerate the exit, fricassee the fanny, gouge the gluteus, hurt the hiney, injure the idler or jostle the jacksie. Kill the keister. And you need to lose the lounger. But you don't want to maim the maximus. Or nick the noodle. Or obliterate the oyster. Pop the posterior. Or quarter the quiche. You don't want to rip the rear. Or scar the sitter. Or, or tarnish the tush. <laughs> Did you steal my tarnish the tush? Yeah, I like tarnish the oh, tush. Yeah. Undercut the underside. Vamp the valve. Wrong go after. I want to exert the exit. Exert the exit. And you don't want to yank the yapper or. Or zap the zaftig. What's a Zaftig? Well, Zaftig is plump. So today, before we get going, I want to make sure that you hit that subscribe button, share this video, you know. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Hit the word subscribe. I'll shut up now. Stick around for CB3's Riders Rides. Uh, we have quite a few folks that have sent some things in. I think you might find that very, very interesting. Very interesting. I got to preview it. It is really cool. So today we're going to be talking about the butt buffer. So I'm actually sitting on it right now. And if you were to ask me if I could tell that I was sitting on anything, I would tell you no. Now, one of the problems that I have had with cushions in the past of any kind is that you feel like you're sitting on this giant, ridiculous pillow. And it changes your riding position. It changes the way you feel when you're sitting in a chair. But this doesn't do that. It's very, very thin. It's about a half inch thick. and your butt doesn't get hot, it doesn't create problems down there. And I really, really like this thing. The very first time I was exposed to this product, the guy asked me to sit down. Now he had one of these pads, butt buffers they call them, one of these pads sitting like on a little saddle or chair. So I went to sit on it. Well, little did I know that he threw a set of keys on top of it. Coach Vic saw him throw the keys on there. I sat down, I did not feel the keys at all. We get up, I'm amazed at the very fact that I didn't see the keys. Well, then he lifts the keys up, he lifts the butt buffer up. And there are little pieces of L angle iron, like the kind of one inch angle iron that you would work with a shelf. There were probably 10 of those up under the cushion that I didn't even feel when I sat down. So I knew at that moment that this product was superior. If you've ever ridden with your wallet in your pocket as, a, as an older guy in particular, I remember hurting as a young guy, but nothing like it does now, where you have that wallet in your pocket and it just puts that pressure on that sciatic nerve and it's very, very uncomfortable. It creates that burning sensation going down your leg and, and, it, and it really, it hurts for like an hour after you get off the bike. With this, the butt buffer, that sensation, that feeling completely goes away. Coach Vic, we were worried about pressure sores with her, and I had the opportunity of taking this thing on a trip over to Valdosta when I went to do something for my mother one day, and I sat on this thing, and zero, zero hot spots. So let's talk about what makes this thing a little bit different, and let's look at it a little bit. So here it is. It's not real impressive looking, um, if you hold it up, you can kind of see the light through it. Um, it's not this super heavy duty thing that you would think would do a whole lot. And so when I first saw it, I really wasn't impressed until I sat on it. But what this is made out of is called this viscoelastic polymer, all right? And, and what this stuff was designed actually for disabled folks and folks who had sustained traumatic injury to keep them from developing bed sores. And man, let me tell you, this stuff really, really works. Um, it, it, it's a proven science. And so they took something that was a proven science and adapted it a little bit and put it in a cushion for a motorcycle seat. So really actually a very ingenious little idea. Here's another cool thing. If you're pressing this, the polymer they say, and I, and I believe this from the feeling that I have when I sit on it, 
the polymer inside of this never fully compresses. In other words, it's not like a gel that just evacuates that area. It never fully compresses. And what that means is that that bone that would normally press that gel out is always sitting on a polymer layer. So it's always cushioned. And that means no pressure points, which means no hot spots, which means no soreness. And in Coach Vic's case, means no pressure sores. Very important to us. And that numbness that you get in your rear end due to that decreased blood flow when you ride, that sensation has completely gone away. Now, I don't know what this polymer is in here, um, but they say that it won't leak out. Now, I'm gonna tell you, if there's anyone that could make it leak. It's you. <laughs> it's you. It's not me. <laughs> not it, me. It is one of the two of us, because we're hard on things. We are bull in a china shop kind of people. We're not the kind of folks that, that don't throw stuff around. So this thing already has been thrown in and out of saddlebags. It's been thrown on the top of seats. We'll show you basically all we do. Now it has straps if you have a seat that you can strap these straps around, you can do that. All we're doing, we're taking this, it's got basically that type of material that, that you put on a shelf to keep it, things from sliding around. That's what's on the bottom of this thing. Toss it up on the seat, and there it is. Um, I will say, if there is anything negative that I've found, then I don't believe it to really be negative. You know how when your seat, it's out in the sun, like this seat right now is very, very hot to the touch. In fact, to the, to the point where it feels like it's gonna burn your hand. But we know that when you sit on a hot seat, that, that, that material under, under you cools off pretty quick, at least to where it's not uncomfortable. This, this, this material in here, when it heats up, it takes a little while for it to cool down. So what we do is when we get off the motorcycle, we put it in the saddlebag, that way it's not sitting out in the sun heating this stuff up. Now maybe in the winter time, could be a different thing, leave it out in the sun. Then you sit on that thing, you got some warm buns like riding on a heating pad. But that's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like hot to the touch, like the material on a seat. It feels like you're sitting on a heating pad and it takes a while for, for this viscous material in here to cool off. Here's what they say about it. It doesn't leak, it won't freeze, it's uh, easy to take care of, it's hypoallergenic. It's unaffected by water and hydrocarbon oils. It doesn't support bacteria. It's fire rated as self extinguishing. It doesn't absorb fluids. Um, it's fungus resistant and it always goes back to its original shape. This is what they call a pebble material. It's, it's very cool. So it allows air to go in and out of the actual material itself. So the material is cool. Now they make this in a velour, just in case you're like, you know, Ron Burgundy, stay classy, San Diego. You know what I'm talking about, right? If you like the velour look, they have it in a, like a, a leathery chamois type thing. They also have a cover that is embroidered with branches of the military. Uh, they have spider web designs and all different kinds of things. All these things that you can get embroidered. We chose to go with the basic black. black. Basic okay. black. Uh, comes in different sizes. We got the large um, because that is pretty much what covers this back portion and the front portion of the spider. So if you have a spider, that's the size I would recommend you get if you want it to cover your entire seat surface. Does it mean your entire bottom surface? So the butt buffer. Coach Vic, how would you rate it? I rated it 10. I give it two cheeks up. Oh my, <laughs> my, that's Coach Bob. Now that you know, go out, order your butt buffer. Can you get a good deal on one right now? Absolutely you can. When you get there and they ask you for the little code to type in, type in, I like big butts and I cannot die. No, I'm just kidding, don't type that in. It won't get you a discount. But what will get you a discount right now on their webpage, because I was on there earlier, it's butt buffer. Dot com, buttonbuffer.com, there it is right there. The special code that you were to type in is the word Corona. Oh, <laughs> that's the secret, that's the yeah. password for right now. Type in Corona, you get a 20% discount on their webpage. Not via me, not via the channel, that is purely from their webpage. I looked at it today. Buttonbuffer.com, Corona, a large will fit your spider, jam up jelly tight, you're gonna be good, and your butt is gonna thank you. Coach Vic said that when she got it, 
She said that the butt in her life was a lot happier. She was talking about me. Here comes our little friend in the Cessna again. So before he gets out of here, let's just move it on to CB3's Rider Rides. Woo! I can't think of a better way to start CB3's Rider's Rides episode with Sergeant Ed from Spicewood, Texas on his beautiful 2020 RT Limited. Here is a pair of beautiful RTs sent in from Rory and Marv, beautiful neighbors of the North, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And from my home state of Florida, the Newport Ritchie area to be exact, Ken's 2019 RT Dark. John from Pennsylvania, with his 2019 RT and his 2019 Honda PCX 150. And this is Ken's machine from Ocala. He rides with the Ocala Spider Riders quite a bit. And he offered me a very kind invitation down there and I will be taking him up on it. Now this is Z-Wiz 77 from Knoxville, Tennessee's beautiful F3 and all he's added to that machine is miles. Now this is Joe Spider's fancy machine. He's uh, from the Knoxville, Tennessee area. It's a 2015 RTL and he has added a lot of bling to that fellow there. Bill S from Western North Carolina, 2018 RTL. He uh, rides on the Blue Ridge Parkway quite a bit. What a beautiful place to ride. Man, am I green with envy. And Cadillac Mike, his beautiful 2015 RT, lit up and looking for trouble. That is one fine looking machine. And now for a message from the Smyrna Cowboy. Hello everybody, Smart Cowboy here, also known as Dave Netherton on Facebook. Uh, this is a video for the Coach Bob 3 channel. I'll show you the bike I'm riding now and the one I'm hoping to get in the very near future. I'm 61 years old, my favorite color is purple, and I like low cost bike insurance. I've been working at uh, Bridgestone Tire Manufacturing Plant. This coming November I'll have 27 years in, 28 years, I'll have 28 years in, I'm sorry. And so I'll just give you a quick walk around of the bike. So Alright, this go. is a 2012 Suzuki Berg. 650 maxi scooter as you can see it has headlight modulators on the front this scooter has a step through design because it's a lot easier for me to put my foot through than up and over this has electric mirrors power windscreen I've got the, the Cirrus XM radio here, and this is a Suna Suna. I've uh, seen a Bluetooth audio system that uh, goes directly to the helmet. Uh, I like these Hercules type, type mirrors. I think I can put those on a Can Am that I'm going to get here in the very near future. Uh, E46 side cases and the V46 top case. And if you look under the seat, you have room for two full face helmets. I am going to install air horn on the scoot when I get some good weather and after I get my shed complete stuff, uh, putting walls up, painting the walls. Well, let's just go in here real quick. Tell I painted the, the boards and uh, did the trim and the color outside. Got it color matched. So I've got a little bit more to do on it and then I can move all my stuff from the garage into here. Usually have my buddy Sergeant Alf that usually sits there, but he's in another capacity right now. During this pandemic, I thought I would hang Sergeant Alf here. I don't even know if the camera could pick that up or not. When people walk around just to get exercise and get out of the house, kids have no idea, but the parents know that's Alf from the TV series Alf back in the mid to late 80s. He usually rides with me everywhere, but during this downtime, I hope the, the, the kids will see that, be amazed and wonder what, what that is. Okay, so this is me on the uh, 2020 RT. This this is too, this is up further, but this is fine. And this is me on the 2020 F3. There. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this better as far as the leg position. 
Now, I was able to ride the RT in uh, Sloan's uh, bike days, but that was that's another story. But hopefully, May 1st, I'll be able to ride the F3. And then in June, June 13th and 14th, I'll take the Can-Am riding class so I can make a final decision on which one that I want to get. Uh, it'll probably be another year, and that'll be a retirement present to me when I retire November 16th of 2021. So that's it. I hope I did it right for you, Coach Bob. Tell uh, Coach Vic that uh, Smyrna Cowboy Dave says hey, and we'll catch you guys and guys later. So the editing is done, and everything's all in place. Everything's put together and looking good. The video's ready to post. Riders Rides, first episode of that. Man, it really was nice opening those emails and seeing all of you guys out there, man, seeing your rides and knowing that we're in this thing together, man. It's kind of cool. I never thought the channel would have a sense of community, but it really does feel that way. Coach Vic is going for a walk. I've fixed me a cup of coffee and I'm watching the sunset and it is absolutely a beautiful day. Thank you, thank you. I had a ball putting this stuff together. So go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now go seize the day.